Coriander and cilantro have been used for cleansing your aura. Fending off two-headed serpents, drawing friends to your home, stopping unwanted visitors, bringing success to your business, and promoting eloquence and prosperity. How kind of you to let me come. Delighted, my dear. It's been beloved by herbalists, warrior goddesses, gangsters, and it was even used in the sacred traditions of ancient Hebrews. Oh, there's just so much delicious madness to explore. So let's get started. And now, the mythology of coriander and cilantro. Coriander and cilantro are associated with the element of fire, the astrological signs of Aries and Scorpio, and they're also under the influence of the planet Mars and the deity Aries. Though in some circles, apparently Saturn is very prominent in Coriander's power. The Phoenician warrior goddess Anat, aka Anatu, aka Mother of Nations, aka Mother of Gods, aka She Who Kills and Resurrects. You know you're powerful when you got lots of killer titles. Wore purple makeup and coriander perfume when she prepared for battle. I want to be just like her. Coriander and cilantro remedies. Coriander and cilantro can help you with things like headaches and help ward off disease. True, but people used to believe that you could achieve this just by carrying coriander around in a pouch with you. Not feeling so hot? Then you need a conjuring bag filled with coriander seeds flax seeds, angelica root, and golden seal root to help prevent that illness. On the other hand, herbalist John Gerard said that the juice of cilantro leaves taken in the quantity of four dragmas, which is one half ounce, killeth and poisoneth the body. Oh, I don't want to actually killeth and poisoneth anybody. Best be careful. Cilantro recipe myths. Coriander and cilantro are obviously used a lot in cooking. But have you ever tried the Egyptian soup Molokia? Well, here's an interesting tidbit that I found. The cook is supposed to gasp at the top of their lungs <gasps> as they pour the coriander, garlic, and yala mixture into the Molokia. And if you don't do this, apparently, it won't taste any good. Is it just me or is this gasping at the top of your lungs just sound weird? <gasps> yeah, it's weird. Coriander and religion. Coriander is one of the five bitter herbs ordained by God to be eaten by Jews on Passover, a tradition that's still adhered to to this day. Coriander is mentioned in the Bible in Exodus chapter 16, verse 31, where it's described to be just like manna. Manna from heaven, sweet nectar of life. The same manna which fed the Jews as they wandered in the desert for 40 years. The passage says, the house of Israel called the name manna and it was like coriander seed. White. White? I always thought of it more of a khaki, maybe tan color. Coriander also appears in the Islamic religion. As the Prophet Muhammad said, make yours the seed of coriander, for it is a cure for all diseases except swelling, aka cancer. Apparently Allah also told Muhammad she has been given everything. The she in this case being coriander. You go girl. Coriander and love. Coriander is a veritable cornucopia for attracting different types of love. British physician Robert Turner apparently agreed with various occult practitioners who believed that powdering coriander seeds and adding them to a warm wine could stimulate people's animal passions. Adding it to wine could also help you attract a new love or help you find common ground with someone you're just not very fond of. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Bob. I'm gonna need all of this before I can even start to think about dealing with you. During the medieval and renaissance eras, coriander and cilantro were consistently added to love potions and used as aphrodisiacs. One particular ritual requires you to grind 19 coriander seeds to a powder, add it to your chalice, fill it with red wine, and drink it with your sweetie during a new moon. Then watch the sparks fly. Coriander isn't just used for getting busy between the sheets. Coriander and cilantro also have a long history of use for marriages. Ugh, throwing rice at weddings? Oh, that's so passe. Ancient hand fasting rituals would have people throw coriander seeds instead of rice or confetti for good luck. Coriander would even be used in the two-handed hand fasting cup and cake mixture to ensure a better marriage. A mixture of coriander seeds, cumin, periwinkle, and magnolia leaves sewn into a mattress is supposed to help promote fidelity and faithfulness in married couples. 
And if for whatever reason things just don't work out between you and your partner, you can drink some coriander tea to stave off those breakup or divorce blues. Once you're done, put the tea seeds into your pillowcase, I presume once they're dried, for a safe and well-protected sleep. Coriander and Fertility in the famous book Arabian Nights, coriander seeds are mentioned as part of a mixture that supposedly helped an impotent man have children. Chinese folklore says that if you eat lots of coriander seeds while you're pregnant, your baby will be born very witty or with remarkable skills. There are also several myths about women conceiving under the influence of coriander. Though the oddest one has to be that a woman wishing to conceive would bind 11 to 13 coriander seeds to her left thigh. But wait, it gets weirder. In some accounts, you're supposed to bind them as high up the left leg as you can go with a clean linen cloth. Yeah. And once the lady has conceived, you're supposed to take the seeds away so she doesn't miscarry. Though really, I think you'd want to take them off anyhow. As they ain't gonna look very good once they've been up there a while. Coriander in ancient times. The Chinese also believed that coriander bestowed immortality. Though you have to eat the seeds with a pure heart in order for this to be achieved. <laughs> yeah, this will show Bob. He can take that smug look now and just shove it up his... Dang! Ah, now I gotta get some more seeds so I can try again. Thanks, Bob. My favorite wacky historian, Pliny the Elder, also mentions coriander as the antidote for the poison of a two-headed serpent. Well, it might not have worked for that, but it does actually make a little bit of sense, as coriander has actually been used as a cure for ptomaine or food poisoning. Coriander and protection. Growing coriander in all four corners of your house is supposed to offer protection from negativity and unwanted guests, like Bob. And if this doesn't work for you, you can always tie up some cilantro with a ribbon or burn it as an incense to help protect your home and bring a nice, peaceful, calming feeling to your house. Though some people have believed that growing coriander and cilantro in your garden can lead to bad luck and bad enough to force you to move out. Those old persistent evil spirits are back, aren't they? Well, you can mix cilantro or coriander with angelica root lotus seed, and spring water to send them packing. Or if that doesn't work, place one ounce of dried cilantro under your pillow to help protect you from those evil spirits and nightmares. Other magical properties and folklore. Contrary to popular belief, coriander wasn't always just used as a force for good. Witches would brew a mixture of coriander seed, willow bark, and mugwort and drink it in order to become immortal and gain the power to raise the dead. Ooh. Spells falling a little flat? Then add some coriander seeds to your incense to give your spells a little extra pop and pizzazz. Gamblers used to chew coriander seeds before making a bet in order to increase their psychic abilities and luck. Coriander and cilantro are so powerful that they are believed to amplify mental clarity and connect all of the seven chakras. That, my friends, is one potent herb and spice. Do you have a special way that you like to use coriander or cilantro? Let me know in those comments down below. If you want to learn more about this amazing herb and spice, then watch What's the Difference Between Coriander and Cilantro next? Or if you're one of those people who think it smells and tastes bad, watch this video next. Please, be kind, take care of each other, and use a little bit of extra coriander and cilantro to be at peace with others. Yes, even you, Bob.